This video covers understanding equivalent fractions, and a good place to start would be to start with, well, what is a fraction? So a fraction is written like a over b, where a and b are integers and b isn't zero, because remember we can't divide by zero, right? And it's a piece of something. We're breaking something into parts, right? I could have one half. I could have two thirds, right? The number on top is called our numerator, and the number on the bottom is called our denominator. So when we're thinking of fractions as pieces, one thing that's really helpful is modeling. So if I look at these, what fractions do these represent? Okay, so here I've got a pie. It's cut into one, two, three, four, five pieces, and three of them are shaded. So this would be like three-fifths. Think of it kind of like a pizza. Here I've got a box, right? It's broken up into fourths, and three of them are shaded, so this would be three-fourths. Here I have a circle that's broken up into, oh, perfect, eight pieces, right? This is, well, I did that out of order, but this is really like a pizza, right? So I know this is out of eight, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, five pieces. Next, I've got another box. This is broken up into nine, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So we're working with ninths, and that would be two ninths. So we can kind of visualize these fractions. One thing that's also important to know about fractions is there are multiple equivalent fractions. So for example, if I, and I do this a lot when I'm cooking, right? If my half cup measure is dirty, I'll use two one fourth of cups, right? One half could also be three sixths, right? So what we want to do is we're going to do some examples where we are finding equivalent fractions using a model. So the strip below is cut into 10 equal bars, and I want to shade two-fifths of this strip. So here I have tenths, but I need fifths. So if I broke this into fifths, so it's even, right, and then I want to shade two-fifths, I'm going to shade this, and I'm going to shade this. So I would shade, there were four bars, right? So I would shade four tenths. And we're going to discuss more how to find equivalent fractions in what should be the next video on this playlist. So stay tuned. Next example, I have this pie cut below into 12 equal slices, and I need to shade one-thirds of this pie. So I could shade, like, every third pie piece. That's one way I could shade a third, right, because I'm going to 1 over each 12. Um, I could break it up into thirds, right, so here's one third, kind of like a peace sign. Here's another third, so I would shade one third. Well, that is four of the twelfths. So let's figure out how uh, we can find equivalent fractions without visualizing them and modeling them in the next video.